Super genius, Lord Sludge of Toxic took the world's most evil waste to pour into his laboratory on Mount Vile. There, he concocted his most ultimate strain of the Immortal Exer. Little did Sludge know that Gat's subterfuge expert, Hazard, had disguised himself as a toxic trooper. Upon obtaining the Vile formula, the Global Action Team sprang into action using their combined skills of fighting, flipping, and not swimming to get the Vile of Vile safely away from the hands of Toxic. Or have they? Now, Back to get. Now with the immortal elixir safely behind bars, Toxic can't be as bad anymore. Or can they? Uh, Gen Forcer? According to my calculations, Lord Sludge should be up to something bad. I've got a bad feeling about this. Not as bad as I'm feeling, Brainstorm. My swimming skills couldn't do anything. Hey Sue, just being part of a team means you are helping. As a team. Are you still hungry, Cyborg? <laughs> 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 Shout, you fool! Gat will hear you! Hey, why is that fellow trooper in yellow? Hate to crash the party, but our ears were burning. You toxic twits! Your combined incompetence foils my infallible plans once again! And while you were distracted you saying that, Lord Sludge, I was able to get to the vile immortal elixir just in time! Good work, Sue! Pass it over here! You got it, Cap! Nice. Maybe my line loving ain't so bad. Oh, Let's earn that picture. <laughs> Just what I came for. Oh no, the vial. <laughs> Time to look good in front of the boss. <laughs> out of it! The console! I think one of those uh, buttons does something! Come on, Tsunami! Focus! There must be something here my skills can provide the team! Holy Splash! I got it! Take a bath, Sledge! When you're swimming upstream and you can't fulfill your dreams And the only solution is to let off some steam Just call on your friends, it's not as bad as it's when you're fighting together, you fight as a team. That takes care of that. Great work, everyone. And Sue, when you believed in your swimming skills, it really steamed up Sledge's plans. <laughs> oh, Cyborga. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
is that? Does this still count as lava? I mean, it's it's a uh, cooled stuff. Well, that didn't sound coolio. in the house and somehow standing on the stove is less painful than actually being on the floor fuck the kitchen table Yoink. granted the floor may or may not actually be lava because this is of course in a kid's mind in the room, so... Can somebody explain to me why everything is set up like this? Am I going this way? Yeah, I think I am. Boink! Go into the bed. Go into the bed. I do not trust that swirly shit. Dare you! Sir, I take your dare and shove it up your arse. And I shall. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. let me. Ah. Poodles. Then was killed by lava. Okay, then how do you expect me to go over there? by collision? Am I supposed to grab it? Because clearly my skills are not so good at... Okay, okay. Not cool, bro! Okay, so that was just showing it off. Sweet. Nope. You select that better. 
Gym jam. We need to earn those things. How else would I get to play as other characters and have silly things to put on my action figure? The floor is lava! Very hot, so jump. Camera's a little slow. Sensitivity must be low as hell. Let me check that out. Up! Oh, not letting me. Series place it contains a particular variety of beta items because this game is, as it says over there in the top left corner, beta!
Is it because I died in those parts of the level? I have a feeling it was. I don't know if I can retry or not. Okay. Place it to me. Okay. 
Yes! That just leaves the one annoying card. It's going to probably elude me still. Unless I make this jump. Dude, you are doing excellent. Until you hit that wall. For glory! Damn it. So there's no way I can, like, push this. My mighty action figure. Action figure arms. <laughs> but I want it. <laughs> me to get on that, because really there's not much I can do. There's not even anything to swing from, is there? No, it's just over there. But I guess they want me to go on that. So we may have found that solution. the most exciting gameplay you've ever seen. Just me. Trying to get a card off a water drinking fountain. Great. And getting annoyed by it. Looking at solutions in all the wrong places. the damn card. And I know I'm gonna edit a bunch of this out. <sighs> Momentum is going to be my enemy. Especially when that happens and I eat a wall. pogo sticks at. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just go on to the next section. A, B, C, Z, 1, 2, 3. Well, we're joining somebody else on their magical adventure through hell. Time really means nothing to me. I want them sweet, sweet cards. I can turn my camera. 
have skills.
camera's fault. I'm approaching a long ass time for this level, aren't I? Probably not good. Do you ever know 
That guy, he sucks. Watching your character burn from far away is terrifying. Dear God, it's taking me 15 minutes just to do this. I have a feeling there are speedrunners that have done this in like five. Because no one's trying to get all the cards! It's not the first drive. Oh, come on! I totally landed up there! How do they expect me to do it? Going along the wall, like... A moment of silence for my fallen toy brethren. Concentrate. zipper. I'm a little disturbed by the zipper. Come the fuck on already! How am I not doing this? Oh, 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 calm your 
more plastic non-existent tits, please. Okay, probably have to go that way. But I am an insane person. I said I was insane. Yoink! How'd I grab that? Lynn is continuously killed by lava. What's my name, Orange? I wonder if I could change that. Just dance in the floor with lava. Take me 20 minutes just to do this. Don't give a shit because I'm going to freak. Okay.
take that furniture. This will help me. Hold action button to start. Pogo! This is just a display of Pogo. This is not actually me probably doing the Pogo. Aw, oh, damn it, the card is not there. I was hoping Pogo would have, like, let me cheat and get it. Well, this is pretty much the game. doing a lot more of it. It's probably gonna be an annoying little thing, because as you can tell, it's a game supposed to be built around speed. It's not exactly the best at doing it because of certain shit. Like, for me, my lack of skill. Or my liking of this freaking camera. Come on, last one. Last one. Got it. Alrighty. I think we'll end it on that. As I keep kicking Banisher's butt. But, either way, I would like to thank you all for watching, because you lovelies are amazing. He's got a pogo stick up his booty. So if you want to see more of this crazy game, leave a like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that funky jazz. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Because, yeah, I'll probably keep playing this. like any hints or something. Let me know how to get better at this. But until then, I thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Till then, you wonderful lovelies, stay awesome. And bye-bye.